I have been seeing a meme going around on the new age and feminist spiritualist groups that I am a part of on social media. Um, I have joined several groups that are based in feminism or intersectional feminism and the sort of spiritualist version of this that is right, allegedly right um and okay. i've seen this ideology that, pop though. up several times yes please just nutshell what i'm trying to say about these groups okay so basically these are groups that grew out of many of the same origins as the notion that wicca is intrinsically feminist they believe that if you include women or place them front and center, that means you're being a feminist. When in actuality, what it means is that you are focusing on women. You may be pigeonholing them, you may be denying them choice, you may be deifying them, but you in any case you are incredibly gender essentialist. But in any case, you are removing you may also be removing their choices and or humanity. Focusing on women doesn't make you a feminist. Porn focuses on women. So Wow, put. Thank you, Ian, for You're coming welcome. in on my rant. That actually helped me understand part of my problem. Awesome. With... So, I have found that oh, a lot it, of groups... Oh, is it goddess porn? Yeah. I have found that a lot of groups that say, claim that they are women-focused um, wind up espousing a lot of internalized misogyny, um, deeply damaging gender essentialism, and sort of tired second wave feminist tropes of, you know, women have to be goddesses. They're not allowed to just be human. Um, women means, you know, turfist, you know, trans exclusionary, radical feminist, anti trans faux feminist is what I prefer, but anti trans faux feminist ideology like that. Being a woman is defined by a having a vagina, by a having a functional womb. Um, and one of the ideologies that is bouncing around in a variety of floral, romanticized um, social media posts involves the idea of sacred sex. Um, the one that I had a huge problem with literally had the... Uh, splayed legs rose over the vulva image. Oh, yeah. And um, there was first one post espousing all this ideology towards men. And then there was this other post that espoused all this ideology that was geared towards women. Um, and the one that was geared towards men was, of course, very cis-centric. The idea that all men have a penis. Um, that all men are heterosexual, um, that all men um, prefer to be the penetrative partner, um, and basically said you need to be grateful for this opportunity to have penis and vagina sex and understand that you are approaching this gateway to the divine, that you are intersecting with the soul of the person you are penetrating, um, that this is a sacred act of unification, that by oh, unifying the two, to God thing. it was specifically unifying the two genders makes okay. you both a godhead thing. So not the one that we encountered at the e evil yoga event, okay. um, which I'll get into in a second. Um, so then okay. the answer to this was written, and it was a counterpart post, wherein it was like, women remember that you are sacred because you have a womb because you are accepting um penetrative penis in vagina uh sexual interactions that you should not be having any kind of sexual interactions with someone if it isn't this sacred penis in vagina act um that you are the gateway of the divine um, and that this male cis person who is penetrating you with their phallus can only get to the divine via this penetrative act. There's a lot to unpack here, 
Okay, to start with, I have an issue with the ideology that all sex has to be sacred. And that if you are not having sacred sex, you shouldn't be having sex at all. Um, I am a firm believer that whether you are asexual, whether you are sex repulsed, whether you are heterosexual, whether you are non-heterosexual, whether you are polysexual, pansexual, you should be having as much sex as you like with as many people as you like, as long as it is done in a risk-aware, safer, saner fashion. See, I've started hesitating on including consensual because there is no such thing as non-consensual sex. Um, That's rape. We have a word for that. At the same time, I want to be clear that I have no problem with you having as much sex as you want to, but I have a deep problem with you having coerced or non-consensual okay, so violations I, of others' personhood. So, I get where you're coming from. I feel it should be included because it explicit. Well, no, because of essentially non-discussed kink areas. Okay, so fully consensual, risk-aware, and well-communicated There we go. Sex. Be, right, if it's well- Keeping com- in mind that non-consensual sex is rape. Um, right. As you want to, with as many people as you want to. Anyway, and that doesn't topic, mean that you don't have a sacred and fulfilling spiritual experience either- that has its Venn diagram with your sexual experience or not. So here, let me be clear. You can be having a whole bunch of non-sacred sex and still have sacred sex. You could be having a whole bunch of sacred sex and have all your sacred acts other than that still matter. You could be having a whole bunch of sex that's non-sacred and still have sacred right. acts in your other areas of life. The intersection between your sex acts and your sacred acts can be anywhere from a, from a full union to completely disjoint. Thank you. And that in no way should infringe upon the recognition of the validity of the sacredness of what you do. Also, anti-atheist much? Um, what, so atheists can't have a healthy fully normal, happy sex life because they don't believe in sacred sex. Um, also, for people who are watching, I just want to comment on something that we just said in chat, which is that this sounds incredibly Puritan and utilitarian. Um, I'm reminded of a line from a webcomic I used to read that was um, in and out in five minutes only for the creation of children. So this is in and out in five minutes and only for the sake of connection with the divine. Um, That's what, when I read this post, I ended up messaging Ian, who was at work, and was like, is this not incredibly Calvinist, puritanical, and patriarchal for something that is dressed up with the language of feminism? So, okay, we ranted about how not all sex needs to be sacred, but seriously, not all sex needs to be sacred to be valid and healthy. Um, and then additionally, your definition of sex is garbage. Right. It's not, so not necessarily yours, but the, the people who made these posts and similar posts, that definition of sex is fucking garbage. See last week's rant, which included how virginity is a social construct and how what we define as sex is so variable but seriously all of these posts are like a person who has a phallus may only reach the divine via the penetrative sex act of a person who has a vagina okay so what about a cis man a cis heterosexual man who prefers to be penetrated because they exist pegging is a thing 
I teach classes on how to do it safely. Or what about, what about lesbians? Can lesbians not have sacred sex in or this is, ideology? Or is all lesbian sex sacred because it involves... Double vaginas! Okay. Except that not all lesbians have vaginas. Ooh. Ooh. What about sex with an intersex person? So I guess my rant is not all sex has to be sacred. And your idea of sex is incredibly heterosexual and not only heterosexual and cis-centric, but like really, are we back to thinking that we're doing the, the missionary position, penis right, also and vagina? Um, and I ended up ranting about this to my mother-in-law, which was a little awkward where I was like, I feel like the people who wrote this kind of post only attended the sex education class that involved rolling a condom over a banana because there is so much more to sex. So not all sex has to be sacred. Not all sex needs to be penis right, and vagina, cis-centric, heterosexual sex in order to be considered sex sacred or not. And additionally, sacred sex isn't always this thing where you refrain from having sex with lots of partners. Because a lot of these posts mention, like, don't have sex with lots of people because that will somehow reduce the sacredness of the experience that you're having. I want to just okay. tell y'all that sacredness sacred is sex not workers... <laughs> sacred sex workers exist in many many, many cultures. And they have sex with lots and lots of people. Also, left-hand path pantra, anyone? Right. Thank you. There Actual left-hand path pantra? There is a great... There Sorry. are a great many sacred sex traditions that involve having sex with a lot of people. Not your revolving door monogamy serial monogamy serial monogamy thank you so not all sex needs to be sacred not all sex looks like that and some sacred sex doesn't look anything like that additionally i am so tired of seeing both slut shaming and sex positivity take over feminism, okay? Here's the thing. Quit telling people they have to have lots of sex. Quit pe quit telling people they can't have any sex unless it's in a monogamous het relationship. And really keep your damn nose out of everyone else's sex life unless you're asking if you can be part of it. Seriously, teach consent. Teach risk aware sexuality. But whether someone is asexual, sex repulsed, a serial monogamist, um, pansexual, or having all the orgies, thank you, Riley Tay, well it is none of your fucking business, as long as they're not hurting anyone else. Please keep in mind that I am not talking about consensual pain play. I'm talking about... Sorry harming someone else it's none of your damn business and how dare you tell people that their only purpose in life is to be the vagina gateway to the divine for someone with a penis what about people who've had a hysterectomy what about people who have a vagina and don't consider themselves a woman? What about people who have a vagina and are sex repulsed? What about people who have a vagina and just don't want a penis inside of it? Or a strap-on phallus inside of it? Or really anything inside of it? We are not anyone's anything unless we say we are. And our purpose on this planet is not to rehabilitate anyone, not to be anyone's 
emotional dumpster or, you know, free emotional labor. And my vagina certainly doesn't exist just to be the flower that allows people to perceive the divine via orgasms. Fuck you. Or don't. Or don't. I have a vagina because I was born that way. And whether I had one or not does not impact my personhood or my pathway to the divine. Or anyone else's pathway. And honestly, the idea that you can't fully understand the divine or experience it without another person helping you along the way, excuse me, individuals can pursue enlightenment. Well, that almost sounds Catholic. Right. No, no. You can't perceive the divine without submitting to this other person. Their journey is just as important as your own. Excuse me, my journey is important sans anyone with a penis.